Well, let's move on now to the youth crime crisis in Queensland. Good evening. Five teenagers are tonight under arrest in relation to the stabbing death of a Queensland grandmother in a shopping centre car park. Only Nine News was there as police swarmed. It was senseless and disturbing, but for the Premier of Queensland, Stephen Miles, his response made the victim's family very angry. Uh, the absence of any reference to youth crime in your speech to the Queensland Media Club would have been noted uh, by more than a few, including the people of those communities. Premier, I'm sure you can see the last two summers have been bookended by the murders of young mother, Emma Lovell, and just three days ago, grandmother, Violene White. It was insensitive, arrogant, and showed that this man has absolutely no contrition for his failed policy outcomes and no humanity for a crisis of his government's own making. Labor watered down bail laws and relied on pseudo-scientific theories about how to prevent reoffending by using a gentler touch. It hasn't worked. This is what the daughter of that murdered grandmother had to say about the Premier. You know what? I was really glad he said it. Because I'm like, you're not the man for the job. If you can't reassure people in, your, in the community that you're, this is at the utmost priority. Now, even though you just saw the video of Miles laughing, clear as day, he is pretending it never happened. Even worse, he is claiming he was misrepresented. It is all just fake news, according to Miles. He tweeted this out. No one in Queensland, myself included, is laughing at this tragedy and for any news outlet to suggest so is disrespectful. A family and a community is grieving. Sensational headlines and misrepresentations have no part to play in Queensland this week. Now let's have another look at the footage and you be the judge. Uh, the absence of any reference to youth crime in your speech to the Queensland Media Club would have been noted. Uh, by more than a few, including the people of those communities, Premier, I'm sure you can see. The what a deceptive weasel of a man. Overseeing a government which has empirically failed on law and order, leading to senseless murder and crime, and he thinks the whole situation is just a joke. And when he is asked by a journalist at a media lunch for his response, he chuckles like an idiot because he thinks he shouldn't be asked about crime if he wanted to talk about housing instead. There are few things more dangerous than a Premier with a glass jaw and a low IQ. Sophie, it's an absolutely horrific story, this family going through this. For Stephen Miles to try and play this game about I've been misquoted, it's misrepresentation, what do you make of that as a strategy? Well, I think it's a poor one, Jack. And if I was his media advisor, I'd be pulling him aside pretty darn quickly and telling him to, uh, you know, pull up his socks here and get his uh, stories straight and his media performances in order because this is a disaster. This type of behaviour uh, at press invitations where media are could cost him his job. People won't see anything humorous about this and it just makes him look very disingenuous. So uh, I imagine the uh, opposition up in Queensland will be clipping up this video to be using in their uh, commercials come the Queensland election later this year. This is very bad form. He needs to behave very carefully in front of media because it only takes one step out of line and the media's got you on camera. So I think this was a big problem for him this week and it could be a very, very big error in his uh, run-up to the election. Tim Blair, what are your thoughts? Uh, it, was, it was fascinating to watch. I think in the early moments of, uh, of that question and answer a section that we saw, I think the Queensland Premier might have been sort of stuck in a kind of a nervous laughter moment, which was mm. inappropriate. And uh, and the journalist actually gave him an, a way out. The journalist dragged the question out a little bit to give the Premier a moment to maybe reconsider his, his physical and facial response. And he didn't pick it up. He didn't realise what was going on. He didn't realise that he was digging himself into a deeper hole by, by keeping up this sort of mirthful amused, giggly, idiot uh, kind of behaviour. And it, it, it was too, it was a, it was a many things all, all happening wrong at once. And as Sophie said, you know, the media advisor would be dragging him aside and, and, you know, well, 
Maybe the media's uh, advice would you be dragging himself aside and, and putting a putting an <laughs> yes. ad in the paper for uh, you know maybe another position because it, it could be that but <laughs> the fact that uh, the premier is beyond help at this this point.